Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. I'm TZ Sweezy, and in this video, I'm going to be covering the mirror modifier. Now the mirror modifier mirrors a mesh object along its local X, Y, and or Z axes across that object center, which is our orange point of origin um, dot there. It can also use another object. So in my scene currently, right, I've got the default lamp and camera objects. I could set it up to use those objects, local X, Y, and Z axes, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, it's just this little mirror object setting here. So without further ado, let's talk about the settings of the mirror modifier. All right, so since the mirror modifier basically just mirrors across an axis, uh, let's take a look at the axes first. Now, currently it's set to X. That is the default axis that it's going to try to mirror across. You can also set it to Y and Z, or any combination of those three, or just choose one, doesn't really matter. But let's just, for kicks and googles, lock them all on, and then I'll move the mesh, the entire sphere, over. And so now it's mirrored across the x-axis. We've got positive x and negative x. And if I move it forward, all right, now we have, or maybe that's backwards, whatever, we have it mirrored across the x and the y-axis. And then if I move it up, we have it mirrored across the X, Y, and Z axes, which is kind of a cool effect, and you can see how that would be very helpful, right? So we had one, and then with one axis checked, we just have the, two, uh, the one mirror, then we've got four mirrors, and then eight mirrors. All right, so that can be very, very useful here. Now there is a merge setting, so we'll talk about the merge, then we'll talk about clipping, and then that's pretty much it for this modifier. But we'll talk about the merge. Now, the merge, when it's checked, has a merge limit. And that merge limit is essentially the distance away from another vertice on the point of origin, uh, or on the axis origin, that it can be before it's snapped together. So if I have this merge here, and I move these closer, so I don't have to increase the merge limit too much, and then I increase the merge limit, you can start to see that vertices that are inside that merge limit are now being snapped together at the uh, center. And what we've got here is these vertices are now being con uh, connected. And if we turn on this little option down here, which automatically merges vertices, move to the same location, we don't have two vertices anymore, we just have the one. So super helpful in doing things. I'll move this back down to 0.1, maybe a little lower so both of our spheres go back to normal. All right, and then the last thing we wanna deal with is the clipping setting. And the clipping setting essentially prevents things from, or vertices from moving across the origin of the axis. So if I have it mirroring on the x-axis and I turn clipping on, and then I try to move my sphere to the left, you can see that it's not being just a sphere, it's actually shrinking down into a flat plane. But if I move it to the right, it's not going to stay clipped. Um, or is it already on that axis? Let's check. Nope, it shouldn't, shouldn't be that close. Let's uh, bring this down a little bit. There we go. All right, the merge limit was too high. Okay, so we have the clipping. If I, again, push that in, I can pull it out, no problem. But when I push it in and it's clipped there. If I try to pull it away now, now it's clipped. And so it's not going to remove itself from that axis. If I turn off clipping and try to move it away, now you can see this is what my sphere has become. But all of those vertices and faces are still intact. They're just now flat because of where they were clipped to. All right, and that is pretty much the mirror object modifier. Uh, and what we can do is this mirror setting, I just wanna show, I know I talked about it, but if I mirror it to the lamp object, you can see that the mirror now changes to match uh, or to follow this object's uh, axes, local X, Y, and Z. Um, so not, you know, it's not a perfect mirror, but it's kinda of cool. So there is the mirror modifier. Hopefully you guys learned something, it makes modeling things super easy and it's a one big step in learning how to create characters. So the mirror modifier is super useful. 
So that way you only have to work on one side of an object uh, and it'll just automatically mirror it to the other side and you don't have to worry about that. So it's a great tool to have in your Blender repertoire. This is the mirror modifier and I'm TZ Sweezy and I'll see you in the next video.